Okay, this is Gamer Blave, and I'm back with my friend, the tall guy, in another episode of Backseat Gamer, playing Mega Man 2. And in this episode, I'm gonna let Tall Guy take it most of the time, if not all the time, uh, as he is the expert, if you didn't catch the last episode, in my brief stint embarrassing myself. So here we are, picking up, going against Crash Man. Uh, Crash Man, he's, he's got the longest level. Um, and it's uh, mostly vertical, which I think is a nice difference than your standard. His is vertical up, and then when we get to Quick Man, you'll see his is actually vertical downward. Alrighty. Bow, bow. Staple enemy in the uh, Mega Man pantheon here. The Crash hard, Man! The hard hat gentleman. Metal Blades. Bow, 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 bow. But because we've already killed Heat Man, let me take a moment here and show you the platforms. This is item one. Nice. Just sneak our way on through. Oh. Yeah, it's like, screw that other nonsense. Taking the shortcut. That's right. One of the things that gives this game, I think, a lot of replay value. I mean, obviously you can vary the uh, bosses you attack in the order. Yeah. And you can also change your strategies as you platform through. You know. For instance, if I didn't have item one, I'd have to ride that all the way up. And over and around and kill a bunch of randars. Oh this. man, that was nasty. I hate this part. That is terrible. Yeah, he is um, immune to all shots while he is in his hard hat form. If I remember the right ladder, it branches up into I think five. Yeah, and wow! Goodness gracious! Metal blades, my friend. Yeah, I think we're. Uh, that is a devastating uh, attack that that dude is unloading. I cannot believe you're managing to. Uh oh! I chose poorly. You must choose, but choose wisely. For the true ladder will bring you life. The false one will take it from you. Oh man! At least that guy's shooting the other way. Indeed. That's nice of him. Now here's an E-tank. It just gives you a bunch of energy? Well, you see there, you can keep them. Oh, okay. And if you use an E-Tank, it restores your health to full. Nice! And because we have already killed Heat Man, we can take this alternate route. It could also be done having just killed Air Man if you wanted to be a little... a little bit, uh... creative with your platforming. And time to jump just right with the sled. That dude... Those things are... Man. Now, for this guy, you want the air shooter. It will, uh, it ruins his day in short order. Yeah. Notice how much damage I did with one Yeah, shot. that was insane. Oh, missed. There we go. Wow. Two shots. See, now, it was about a week, maybe a week and a half ago, I loaded up Super Mario Brothers and tried to play it again. And How'd that go? <laughs> uh, it went surprise. It went well. I, I beat it. No, no. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> I still never beat that game. That was one of the few games that I had as a child, and I was never able to beat it as a child. I, I, I. It's one of the ones that's on my bucket list. You know, I've always wanted to beat it. Yeah. I really have. 
but I don't think that I'm ever going to be able to. I mean, I'm just that bad at platformers. I, I really am. I, I just, I, I never had the hand-eye coordination as a child, and I don't think I'm, I don't think I'm ever going to get it. I'm certainly not getting any better as an adult. That was one, I actually, I never beat that game as a child. But I mean, this is, there's a lot more going on here than there was in Super Mario Brothers. Crash bombs. Kaboom. That guy is trying to be as irritating as humanly possible, isn't he? And he's not even a human! A ping pong ball shooter! One thing I found, Flashman stage has the, uh, I guess the ice physics, if you will, where you will, you'll slip slide. and slide. See? Oh wow! But I'm sliding. If you slide, jump. Okay. The jump will arrest your maneuver immediately. Well, that's pretty handy. Okay, so the explosions don't damage you. No. Now that's pretty nice that you can project those. Slide jump. Stop. And because of that, we got to avoid that guy. Nice. Just slide off. And I'm not good at that jump. Who is? Probably others. Feel free to comment about how terrible I was at that jump. <laughs> nope. Even him. All those other people who would be commenting about that, I'm sure, are liars! And here's a neat little trick if you don't feel like uh, dealing with a very difficult section because it's all slick. Throw up your uh, item two, which in later games gets replaced. Uh, Mega Man One, no such thing. I, I actually believe Mega Man One's the toughest in the series. There are no energy tanks for one, and also no helpful items. By Me Mega Man Three, your items become adaptions of your robotic dog Rush. That's tough. Now Flash Man, he has the ability to freeze time and shoot you. So don't let him do that. Yeah. Well, he also has the ability to get killed really fast by metal blades. That's a uh, an unfortunate ability. Yeah. It's a real programming flaw. Not the sort of thing. And we'll get item three from him, as well as the flash stopper. Which is a... It's an item that... It's a single use, for one. It's the only one of its kind you can deploy the time stopper and it will freeze everything on the screen and let you shoot stuff no oh and there's the inherent downside so what, what can you use what it just freezes stuff it just freezes stuff so it lets you like just get your bearings or something um i'll pretty much the place to use it is quick man stage okay because quick man <laughs> the stage, wood man there's a joke to be made there. I'm letting it go. <laughs> uh, if if uh, you were lucky enough to watch the uh, Deadly Premonition playthrough, uh, Sheriff Woodman, I would say he was a good man, a flatulent, uh, a flatulent man. But uh, well, I won't go. I won't go into it. I don't want to. I don't want to say anything more about that game at this point. It's not the time or the place. All right. Oh, this looks intense. Yeah, those things will kill you in an instant. Okay, wow. Going a little bit overboard with the instant kill stuff here. And now we, uh, encounter some darkness. Uh-oh. 
That's too bad uh, we don't have the match that we just got in Little Ninja Brothers. Oh, I know. Okay, now. This is the section of the game. Where, it sucks. <laughs> well, this is where Flashman's weapon really uh, sees, sees its use, I think, for most. As you can see. Jeez. It's a, it's a rather difficult section. That was ridiculous. See, just watching this game stresses me out. Oh, we got an extra man. That's good, because I'm... Okay, I'm, so... I'm pull it up, but... Didn't do it. Oh, I did. Good. Excellent. So now back to my... Back to my question on uh, continues versus lives. So presumably the continue would make you start back at the beginning of the whole stage. Correct. And the lives start here. Okay, so that, that makes more sense. How many do we have? Alright. I'm going to give this one more go before I uh, cheat. Huh. I wonder... I'm going to cheat. I, uh, I apologize. This is actually something I, I really can do with a Nintendo controller in hand most of the time. But sadly, I am a... Well, I'm a failure. Check this out. Bam! Whoa! Time stopper. Nice! But you'll notice it just it ticks down as you go. And it's done. Gets the job done, though. It does indeed. Final board. We're good. Sweet. Oh, I lied. Uh oh. We're good. Okay. Man. I wonder if there's any point, you know, back when the developers were working on this. If they were like, you know, we're, we're obviously, you know, marketing this to like eight-year-olds, you know, at the time. Yes. And they're like, you know, tr playing through the levels, you know, obviously because uh, they would be playing through these as they made them and then just be like, I wonder if they were just a point. <laughs> like, can you imagine an eight-year-old beating this? And I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure they, they were eight-year-olds who were beating this, but my goodness. <laughs> Here's the thing to notice about Quick Man, and this is... He jumps. See this? Look at his health. As the uh, Time Stopper goes, he uh, also takes damage. If you come in with a full Time Stopper, he'll be at half health when he is unleashed. And let me just say, that's nice to have. Quick Man's tough. Yeah. He is, uh, he's, he's quick. Much like Angina. He's tough. tough. The toughness of Angina. Brother, what a night it really was. Mother, what a night it was. And John is tough. <laughs> and we get the uh, quick boomerang, which is a weapon I really like. Um, it's quick. And uh, it's also a boomerang. Those are the two things. For those of you who just didn't know. Yeah. I mean, because, you know, you, you may not have played the game before. You know, and some, it's, it's, it's up to us to let you know what's going on, you know, in this game. People like me, you know, who are experienced gamers, we, we just have to let you know what's going on. And the nice the nice thing about the quick boomerang, I'm not rapidly tapping a button. You just hold it down, it's auto fire. That's sweet. Now this guy. Stuff. 
ashamed of myself for that. Bow, 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 now, if you're bow, bow. just if you're low on health, you're scared, you don't want to mess with them. Hang back here. Even if I'm really high on health in this game, I find myself to be terrified at all times. It's much like when I'm playing Dark Souls, I'm just constantly terrified. Good music in this stage. It's one of one of the one of the better tracks. Metal Blades again coming into play. Oh man. Those guys will jump up and do things to make your day less good. We've got bionic monkeys. Gee whiz. Not a fan. Like the the, the jump dancing there. Thank you. Another uh, another nice thing with the metal blades. <laughs> now for the quick boomerang. The enemies on this next board actually will not be. They, they, you can't hurt them with the uh, metal blades. Though I, I typically just I'll let them jump over me. Kind of a forward then back motion. Okay. And Woodman. And what would you infer we might want to use? In our arsenal, we have yeah. we have the flash stopper, we have metal blades, we have crash bombs, we also have the quick boomerang, bubble lead, the air shooter, and atomic fire. We would definitely want to use the bubbles. That would be what I would be going with. Well, well, now I would go ahead and say that he would either be, he would probably be most weak to the fire, or the metal blades. I mean, you know, heck, sawmill, blades. Both are effective strategies. You know, what, what would, what, what's, well, well, let's go ahead and look at it analytically. You know, what would people say have done more damage to wood and trees on our planet? You know, over over the course of time, has it been the logging industry or has it been fire? You know, Indeed. well, <laughs> both are effective strategies. The atomic fire, and I'm about to demonstrate it, is the only weapon in this game. There's a charge ability. You can hold down the weapon or hold down the fire button, and it will build up and build up. And then when you release, it releases a much larger blast. It's something they incorporated in the Buster, starting in Mega Man Four. So Mega Man himself could do that with his regular shot. But notice, I'm charging. Oh, you can move while you charge. Oh, yes. So, jump, shoot, ball game. Man. Full so you, shot, atomic fire. You pretty much went DBZ on in there. Yeah. You just charged it up. Except for you compressed, like, three seasons of DBZ into about 12 seconds. That's true. Yeah, that was pretty sweet. I believe in being concise. Yeah. And we get the Leaf Shield. The no. most... Well, it's not the most useless weapon in the game. There are a couple places to use it, but... Not really my favorite. Yeah. And here's Dr. Wily. Eyebrows and all. And we have gotten to his castle. Uh-oh. So Indeed. we're gonna have to deploy the Leaf Shield. <laughs> and on that note, I think that's a pretty good place to break for this one. So if you liked it, remember to hit the like button. And if you liked it a lot and you want to see anything else that the tall guy or I might be playing on this channel, and you're not already subscribed, then remember to subscribe as well. But regardless, as always, thanks for watching, and we're going to pick up right here next time.